Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, we are in Proverbs chapter 3, and Proverbs chapter 3 kicks off with this, this very clear declaration and teaching, wise for anyone who will listen, that if we know and love and follow His Word, walk in God's ways, there are positive consequences times three. There's three specific consequences that come when we walk in the ways of the Lord that in Proverbs and wisdom, it doesn't mean you know cause effect, you get all that, only that, but what it does mean is these are the kinds of things that happen when you know and walk in the ways of the Lord. So listen to Proverbs chapter three, verses one and two. My child, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Prolong your life, peace, and prosperity. As a preacher, that one preaches itself. We got three words that start with the letter P, boom, it's easy. So let's just take a peek at those. And if you know my preaching, I don't do a whole lot of uh, making things fit with kind of rhyming things or letter starting kinds of themes, but here it's right there in the text. So we'll look at these three things. Prolonging our life, bringing us peace and prosperity. So verse one kind of begins by saying, if we know the ways of God, if we, if we know the word of God, if we understand it and follow it, there's natural consequences that come. I think some of those consequences are divine. Some are just because the wisdom of God's word leads us in the right kind of life and you get natural consequences because of how you live your life. And so here in the passage it says, by, by following God's ways, following his commands, walking in his statutes and his pathway, it will prolong your life. Now, does that mean if I read my Bible every day, I'll live to be 105? No, that's not what it's saying. But if you know this book and you walk in God's ways, it leads to a life that, that avoids some massive pitfalls. The Word of God talks about how our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit of God within us. So we're to care for our body because His Spirit dwells in us. Boy, if we care for our body, any doctor will tell you, a little bit wiser in how you handle your sleep and how handle your eating, your exercise, those choices. If you treat your body like the temple God says it is, there's a really good chance you'll live longer. Following God's word leads to a prolonged life. Not for everyone, but in general. And then peace. Knowing God's word and following it leads to peace. How does that work? Well, here's one example. Imagine a person is married and they're not being faithful to their spouse. That doesn't lead to peace. They're looking over their shoulder constantly. They're wondering, is my spouse going to get a hold of my phone and see what I've been texting? They're, they're nervous and anxious because they're, they're thinking about getting caught all the time. That same person who's faithful to their spouse as God's word calls them to be. All that stress goes away. Why? Because they're not worried about their spouse seeing their phone or finding out where they've been because they're walking on the path. So peace comes when we follow God's word. And then prosperity. This one gets twisted horribly. So listen closely. Knowing God and following his word doesn't, doesn't say, hey, then you'll be rich every time. But there is prosperity. There is ways that God provides for us when we're faithful to his word. I believe that generous people experience the generosity of God. I believe there's a spiritual connection there. I also believe blessings come in many shapes and many forms. Prosperity isn't just dollars and cents. And so, so again, listen, listen to this single verse. Verse 2 of Proverbs chapter 3. Those who follow the commands of God, it says, for they will prolong their life many years and it will bring them peace and prosperity. Lord Jesus, this is our prayer, that we will know your word and follow your word in such a way that these kinds of things would mark our lives. We love to experience blessing from you. We also know that life brings challenging times. But let us follow your word in a way that opens the door for potential blessing from you in many different ways. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, blessings on you. Walk in God's wisdom and have a great day.